Hi everybody, I'm Laurie Devrel at Llama Index, and I'm here today to demonstrate some of the features of Llama Parse, our industry leading uh, PDF parser and other document type parser. Uh, Llama Parse is really simple to use. It's an API that's built in to Llama Index. So uh, let's look at how you use it in this notebook. Uh, first, you pip install uh, Llama Index and Llama Parse as two separate packages. Uh, and now let's get a really complicated PDF that we can look at and see uh, how the features of Llama Parse come into play. Uh, the one that we've picked for this example is uh, an insurance policy from the IRDIA. Um, it's got lots of clauses and exclusions and coverage that it provides and doesn't provide. And it's a really great example of how you can use an LLM to simplify your life by uh, turning this pile of really dense text into a summary of what it actually means for you. Uh, so what we do in this cell is we download that policy. Uh, and then in this cell, we're just uh, initializing the async things that you need to get a uh, notebook to work. Uh, and in this one, we are just pulling in uh, two API keys. We need the OpenAI API key to do parsing. Uh, and we need our Llama Cloud API key, which you can get at cloud llamaindex.ai uh, to use Llama Parse. So uh, we're going to use uh, Llama Index, sorry, OpenAI's uh, small text embedding three small model, and we're going to be using GPT 3.5 Turbo as our embedding model and our LLM models, uh, respectively. So let's just look at how you parse things with Llama Parse at all. You uh, import Llama Parse and you tell it what result type you want. In this case, we want Markdown back and you give it that policy PDF that we just downloaded in the earlier cell. Um, it parses that pretty quickly. And if you print it out, what you see is uh, Markdown that represents the exact text that was in that PDF document. So we haven't changed anything. We've just turned it into Markdown, which LLMs find easier to understand. Um, one of the things we can do is pass uh, this Markdown uh, into our Markdown element node parser, um, which will break it up into uh, a set of text and tables. Uh, tables are a big part of what makes complicated documents complicated, um, especially for LLMs. Uh, and by parsing it into tables specifically, we can get better results with our parsing. So I'm going to scroll past all the part where the parser was working. And the result is uh, you get a bunch of nodes and table objects, which you can then pass into your vector store index uh, as a simple list of objects. Then you can create a query engine uh, from that vector store index. This is how you always use Llama index. Let's see what happens when we query that basic uh, set of, te of text and tables. Uh, you get, you asked, my trip was delayed and I paid $45. How much am I covered for? Uh, and the result is unhelpful. You are covered for the amount mentioned in the certificate of insurance. Uh, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to know exactly how much we're covered for. Um, the problem is that that information about exactly how much you'd be covered for is split across the document in a bunch of different places and the LLM can't find it. Uh, so one of the really neat things about Llama, in, about Llama Parse uh, is that you can give the parser instructions. You can give the parser uh, instructions that say, this is the kind of document that I'm reading, convert it into something that is easier to understand as an LLM. So in this case, uh, we give it a bunch of instructions that say, read this document full of policies and coverage and benefits and exclusions and turn it into a list, just a list of things that I'm covered for and things that I'm not, co that I'm not covered for um, and parse it that way instead. Uh, 
So now, having parsed it into two different forms, one is the just a pile of markdown and one is this list of coverages, let's see uh, what sort of responses we get. Um, <clears throat> you can see that this is uh, just printing out what the uh, uh, parsed form looks like. The original once is still just a markdown uh, conversion of uh, the exact text of the document, uh, but after the break line, you see what Llama Parse has turned the same document into. It's turned it into this list of things that you are covered for, things that you are not covered for. Very simple set of statements that's easy for an LLM to understand. So now uh, we put those things into a query engine and let's run uh, the same query that against our original vanilla query engine and our new query engine using the parsed form. Uh, again, my trip was delayed and I paid 45. How much am I covered for? The vanilla version gives us the same answer as before. You were covered in the amount mentioned. Uh, but the instructions, the, the one that comes from the list, uh, gives us the exact answer. You are covered for the delay amount you paid, which is 45. Um, looking in the document, we noticed that uh, one expense that was not covered is baby food. Uh, so let's ask the two query engines about baby food. Um, I just had a baby, is baby food covered? Uh, the vanilla version doesn't understand, it doesn't know. Uh, but the parsed version does. It says it has noticed the exclusion and said that baby food is not covered under the, the insurance policy. Uh, we can run a similar question about gauze, which is a very specific thing. Do you mention in your insurance policy, how is gauze in your operation covered? Uh, and in this case, uh, the vanilla version says uh, it's covered if it is covered as part of your surgical procedure. You know, it gives this long answer that has all sorts of details. Uh, whereas the parsed list version gives you uh, a much simpler answer. Procedure charges cover the use of gauze in your operation, so you're fine. Um, this is how you can use the power of Lambda Parse to, uh, in effect, pre-process your complex documents to be simple enough that an LLM can usably understand them uh, and provide really helpful answers. So I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can use parsing instructions in LlamaParse uh, for your own applications. Cool, and I'll see you next time.